Alright, so this is the part 2 on the Speed Academy tutorial. Um, I assume you have watched the first part, you've installed Speed Academy successfully, and now I'm going to quickly show you what the features are and how you use them correctly. So first of all, I've already mentioned that Speed Academy has the Strafe Helper, and I want to quickly show you what that does. So when you enter CG Draw Strafe Helper 1, then you will notice that in the middle of the screen, suddenly the screen thing appears. And this is just going to wiggle around wildly when you uh, use your keyboard and also your mouse. And actually what the strafe helper does is it has a yellow, uh, sorry, a green and a white um, line as you can see. There's a green bar, a light green um, line and a white line. And actually what the light green uh, line is, is your optimal strafe strafe curving speed so the optimal angle you want to be looking at at all times so when i start strafe jumping you will see that curving to the right will actually yield you speed as it should be and you know that you're doing it with the right speed when the white and green line are aligned okay so when i do it too slowly and you can see how i'm getting not enough speed and when i do it too quickly then uh, it shifts more to the left or to the right Okay, and it also shows you quite nicely that when you angle change, you see that it does a, a quick swap, but there is more on this on the next tutorial, or on one of the later ones, I should say. Let's disable this for now, and then come back to the movement options. So as you can see on the top right, there is a double dash there, and the double dash is comes from the draw uh, movement restriction. Uh, by the way, tab is used to autocomplete, as you can see in the no board on my bottom left. So draw movement restriction should be 1 in order to be eligible f to submit to the leaderboards. And once it's 1, then it should be showing the double dash up there. And as I've shown you before, there are 4 different commands you can use. Actually 3, I'm sorry. And they all start with a G. And one of them is, for example, uh, disable crouch boost. There you go. If you put disable crouch boost to 1, then the movement restriction will be SG because SG and Crouch Boost are the two movement um, things that are s faster than Elevation Boost. So when you disable them, then the movement will be actually restricted. So in the beginning, everything is unrestricted. You're able to use every single movement technique at your disposal. Once you disable Crouch Boost and you also fix Spin Glitch 1, then it will go to, down to EB. So let's check if that's correct. So I assume uh, that you know what Spin Glitch and Crouch Boost are. Let's check if I can actually use Spin. Uh, so as you can see, my... On my left there is a speedometer and once I spin or when I just jump, as you can see, I should be using half my speed on every single jump, which it nicely displays there on the left. So when I do it now with spin glitch and I spin every time, I'm still going to lose half of my speed as you can see. Okay, so this is working and then I turn it off. Spin glitch should now be working and indeed it does. As you can see, I'm gaining a lot of speed. Alright, so... Now that we confirm that this works, let's quickly show that um, uh, Crouch Boost also works. So when Crouch Boost is enabled, um, you should be able to use Crouch Boosting in order to maintain your speed, at least partly. That was a cartwheel. As you can see, that also works. If you're good at Crouch Boost, then there you go. That was a good one. And there you go. I also maintain more than half of my speed. And once I deactivate it, it should be only EB and Crouch Boost are not working anymore. And I show you that's not because I'm terrible at crouch boosting, that's because they're actually disabled. Alright. So yeah, the, the following tutorial, the beginner's tutorial, will focus completely on elevation boost because the game is uh, hard enough that it will overwhelm you with stuff that you learn enough that I don't think you should be concentrating on learning exactly how to crouch boost and spin glitch. Uh, but I definitely encourage you guys to check out what those are and that you choose freely which category of the game you want to run because really every single movement option gives you different possibilities and a different vision how you uh, walk through every level and so on and so forth so yeah enjoy the rest of the tutorial and uh yeah have fun with speed academy